Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, you're watching the Leviathan, and welcome back to Sally Face. Now, uh, once again, um, I mentioned at the end of the last video, I re I've already recorded this entire video. Like, everything you're going to see after this point is actually in the past. I'm talking to you, too, for you from the future. Um, but I, I didn't realize how long the recording was when I was recording it, because I didn't stupidly set a timer to see how long it was. And it ended up being like an hour, um, a little bit longer than an hour, I think, in all recording and stuff. So I'm splitting it up into... Uh, multiple episodes. So this is going to be the start of the second episode. Um, we're in the basement, if I remember properly, uh, and we're going to go meet a new friend. It's going to be really interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy it. Ooh, laundry. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. Ooh, biohazards. Lost and found. Poison. Bright lights. No batteries, though. I was hoping there might be some batteries for our game. Whatever. Ooh, a vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. Though we do know where there's money if we do get hungry. Oh, my. Just stepping into people's houses, huh? Pizza. Nice family pit portraits. More pizza. Bathroom? Yeah, this is what I do when I just go into other people's houses. I don't even go say hi to them. I just search around their house, go to their kitchen, go to their bathroom. What? What the hell was that? Y yeah, what the hell was that? Uh, she said it wasn't haunted, but I'm pretty sure that was a ghost. I'm pretty sure they saw a ghost. I'm no expert, but I would say that was a ghost. Um, let's go in. You know, it's locked. I wanted to snoop in her room. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved in in 402. Oh, hi. Come in. Uh, come on in. The door's open. Oh, you're an artist. Whoa, nice mask. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. Oh, I wonder what happened to uh, her face. So, do you like have no face under there? What what happened? I'd uh, rather not talk about that. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my ma. I I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally face. I guess I didn't really m have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're going to get along great. Haha, <laughs> that's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Um, boop, 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 boop. You're not going to, like, kill everyone, and then when your mother dies, pretend to be her, are you? Okay. Um, why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we got to guard this place from the rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free with the maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want. Um, to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. Um, I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. Huh. I do have my own clothing line, so. Ha, it's actually for a metal band called Sanity Fall. Sanity is Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's got to change. Uh, check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. This is a metal. What's going on? This is way too quiet. Oh, okay. Here, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Time, to, time to rock out. Just, just stare, stare into my blank eyes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Best friends forever. Yeah. 
rock out to the music. Zombie everything all the time. Are, are these all bands, I wonder, for him? Creeper. The fear within. Dead things. Sanity is false. Is that the, that's the one we're apparently listening to, right? Your soul will be destroyed. Dead things. I, I, are we just going to keep waggling our heads? Wow! Metal! Um. Uh, what happened in room 403? Shh! Not so loud, man! What? 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 What is up? What is it? The killer is still in the building! H how do you know that? I saw it happen, man! Are, are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. Uh, what happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know that you, what you've done, Herman. Um, done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. He tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked and I couldn't move. It was, uh, I was frozen by fear, man, just peeking through the cracks in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but I didn't even, he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Um, you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Uh, shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me. Without some kind of evidence, like my words isn't enough. Hmm. Uh, let's change the subject. Yeah, let, let's just let's just move on to another subject right after that big um, reveal there. What is up with the guy in, uh, 103? That's Mr. Anderson. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through with his little mail slot. He's a nice dude. Just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say, um, Addison Tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay, um... This was a great time hanging out, so see ya. Ooh, we learned a lot. Ooh, radio. What is this thing? That's a, it's a police scanner. I listen to the local job ba um, chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Um, pretty quick to sign me up for the um, for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet! So, wh what's the plan? I'll call the bank in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm, I'm guessing that that'll be um, by us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minute, uh, minutes count. Uh, we can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just uh, switch the bank robbery to with armed robbery uh, at like a gas station or drugstore make it a little more believable hmm yeah I guess you're right good call Sally here take this head to your room and let me know when you're ready just press the shift button to call 
Okay, I gotta say though, not the smartest idea, because I'm pretty sure they can trace um, radio calls back. And it's a pretty big uh, sentence for calling in fake calls. I like your painting. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. Yeah, it's pretty good, too. Okay, head to the living room. So we're finally making progress. I was a little bit scared that we'd get stuck. Especially when um, people said it was short and, uh, and it's been a little while. I mean, it is still short, but it's been a while since we started, too. Okay, so he said go to the room. Yeah, we'll hide in, hide in our room. Hide in my room. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. How could, how could you hear? You're in the basement. And you said you played your music as loud as you as you wanted, so I'm I'm fairly certain you wouldn't hear them. But we'll we'll, we'll buy buy past that now. No one is home. Yeah, let's just waste our time trying to go into other rooms. Shh, shh. Oh my. Oh, it's gory, all right. Um, examine. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. All right, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Oh man. <coughs> that is terrible for the throat. Should've come up with a better voice. There's a little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small, cl um, a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sounds like a good plan to me. Oh, good. I didn't have to walk all the way. Sanderson and Claire, um, Charlie both collected those weird toys. They are nuts over the, those things. Mrs. Sanderson got the super rare one or something. She was telling me about it um, that day. It was, um, well, blech. Telling me about it the day I was fixing her toilet. You mean today when she got murdered or was it last night? Whatever. Anyways, I bet Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offered her, in, um, offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't uh, live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta um, get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snacked in, uh, snuck into th 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty. Uh, Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sal. <coughs> Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Haha, <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. Don't we all? Don't we all? Okay. So we need to go to whoever's room, which I have no idea what floor that was on or what room it was. It's obviously not down here. Sally face, my man. Good luck. Way too deep of a voice for that. It hurts my throat. <coughs> it tickles the back. Oh, man. I had a better voice, I feel like, in the beginning, but I just kept switching through different voices and messing up. So we're going to go each one. You yeah, know, I didn't mean to hit that. Sorry. No one's home. Oh, no. We don't want to talk to you, Mr. Detective. We're not going to let you know about what's going on here. No one's home. Ah, 101. Oh, no, that's that lady. I don't want to talk to her. She's weird. Okay, so it's not here. It might be two then, because there hasn't really been anything on two. Actually, it's probably three, because two has the janitors, don't they? I know it doesn't. No one's home. Hmm. I, 
I guess no one's home. Okay. I was expecting, I thought that might be it because she said something differently than before. But no. No one's home. Was it 204? Yeah, who, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just uh, wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Oh, okay, come in. Oh man, nice action figures, dude. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and I'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are all my family. So if you mess with my collection, you're messing with my family. Got it. Uh, yes, sir. N not a problem. I, I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. So somehow we have to steal something from right beneath his eye. So... Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. He, uh, yeah. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Uh, nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. And your beer belly. Do you ever change your shirt, man? Do, do you live here alone? Alone? Oh, man. <coughs> <coughs> um, can't get rid of that tickle now that I did it. Alone? Look around you. I have all the company you would ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. Uh, bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment. It's, it is to have a full set. Um, blech. I can't read. Uh, you can look at all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Bum. Get the fuck out of my house. Get, get, get the fuck out of my house right now. My god, child, have you never seen my glitter ponies, Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's a great drama action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies, don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. Uh, I guess I, I missed that one. I'll have to look it for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Cool. Um. I know they're cool, aren't they? Yeah. So I have to apparently somehow get them out? Yeah, let's just talk on the radio right in front of him. That seems like a good idea. I'm a little confused. Which one's the one with the blood on it? Hmm. I, I don't know what to do. Plastic bag, I can use it to grab a pony toy from Charles' room. Okay, you know, I, I, I got that. But how do I grab one and, and what do I grab? Uh, wait, we already went through this. This is just because I stepped out of the room. Those eyes, though, they've seen some shit. Oh, no, they haven't. They've just seen the same show over and over again, and they fell in love with it. Mm, how do I... How do I get get the pony? Do I need to talk to somebody else? 
Maybe I need to distract him and get him out of the room somehow, but he would lock the door when he leaves because he's not going to leave his stuff just sitting around. Oh, maybe I can get him to show me the show? Hmm. Hmm. I see the one that I want. It's the one up top, the one with the, the pink one in the middle. Hmm, I can't walk past him right now. I can't. Can I try to enter the room behind him? Because it looks like he has two entrances into the same. Oh my goodness, sorry. I didn't mean to clue that again. What do I do to get your ponies from you, sir? I want them. I want them badly. Maybe I go talk to the coppers? Let's try that. Yeah, no, thank, thank you for the whole good luck thing, but it's, it's not helping me out. So let's go to the first floor, talk to El Coppero. Detective man. Hey, detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate you, kid, trying to help. I do, uh, I do, but unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from, um, spreading rumors. I, I got the evidence, you just have to look in his freaking room. Because I can't take the evidence. Ooh, what if I ask for the tea? Okay, um, yes, give us the tea. Yes, coming right up. Can't remember the voice I gave for him. I do apologize. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. I feel like every, um, voice I try to give is really messing with my throat right now. <clears throat> That's what happens when you choose the wrong voice for one, one character. Messes with the rest of your life. Rest of your life, man, I tell ya. Can I give him some tea? Would you like some tea? Ooh, is that Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. What is it? Is there like drugs in it or something? Ah, so tasty, so relaxing. And he falls asleep. Perfect. I knew there was something I miss was missing. Ah, uh, mu must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was uh, sleeping, Sal. I was startle, um, starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, um, Charlie. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm um, glad. Say, if you um, get any more Addison's tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison's already cut me off um, for um, for the day. Oh, okay, so how many times do we have to do this? Hopefully not too many times, because that's going to get frustrating. At least we know what to do now, though. Unless we're supposed to put, like, rat poison in it. Or maybe it's going to be a timed event, like I just have to get there and, and click the button quick enough. Or sh move slow enough, so it doesn't wake up the crazy... Uh, darn it, it's two, not three, you fool. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. This is a well-made game, though. I like it. The style and everything is really good. I've noticed that I haven't been talking about the game. I've just been um, talk, um, voicing the characters and stuff. So, Mr. Fat Man, have some tea. Wonderful. You really do not take care of yourself, dude. Like, man, crazy. Ah, so relaxing. Okay. So do I have to find something to put in the tea? Hmm. Okay, so this is going to be the end of the second episode. Once again, I'm popping in because I didn't actually split these episodes down when I first recorded it and half into it now. And yeah, 
So if you guys have been enjoying this episode so far, please feel free to leave a like and comment. Let me know. I uh, really enjoy this game overall, and I'll, but obviously I'll mention that in the final video as well, what I thought about the entire game. But uh, so far this video, like episode and stuff, it was really enjoyable. Um, got a little bit confused here near the end. Definitely figured it out, obviously, if I finished the game in the next episode. But uh, so hopefully you guys stick with it and see the next video. Um, once again, I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to play it yourselves. And uh, yeah, let's do this again sometime. Thank you guys so much for watching. What the heck? Are we saved? Is that civilization I see? Oh, humans, here I come. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, satellite TV, I hope you... What the frick? It's a tumbo. Level one tumbo. Oh, you're pretty cute, man. You're a friendly little guy. What are you, like a turtle? <laughs>